Hey everybody, it's Mr. Buys a Lot. I'm trying to do the Harry Humstone thing and uh, drive and talk to you guys at the same time. I am on my way to a deal. Uh, as many of you know, I was going to Milwaukee for my son to meet his girlfriend um, that he's been talking to for a year and a half online. So we are in Milwaukee this week. I wound up getting a call on a deal in uh, down north, uh, near what is it, Indianapolis, Indiana. So, while my son is spending the day with his girlfriend at the Harley Davidson Museum and doing things around Milwaukee, I am driving 360 some miles to Indianapolis, Indiana to look at a huge comic book collection. Um, not, not huge as far as numbers, but higher value stuff. Uh, it's a golden age comic collection. I'm partnering with a friend of mine, and we are looking at buying 7,000 Golden Age. There might be a few Silver Age books in there, but it's supposed to be 7,000 Golden Age books. Uh, the guy has those and a bunch of 1940s and early 50s movie posters and movie memorabilia. Um, the ask price so far is around $75,000. We're going to go take a look, see what we can do. Um, I will take video there if he's okay with it. If we do purchase the deal, I'll show you guys and I'll let you guys know exactly what we paid. Um, this is a, a higher dollar deal. I know there's a lot of new people who get kind of intimidated by these numbers. But when you look at comics, condition is everything. And really early comics, high grade is really important. And single comic books can be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars if you have the right stuff. I have an amazing partner uh, that does the comic book life pretty much 24-7, 365. Um, he's actually driving out and meeting me in Indianapolis, and then we're going to go look at this collection. Um, but I just wanted to let everybody know that we are still on the hunt. We are always buying a lot. Uh, I'm going to try on my way back to stop and see uh, Pete, the Craigslist hunter. I'm going to see if I can uh, stop in his store and, you know, buy a shirt, just say hi, uh, see if he's got any deals in the area that I can do while my son's out with his girlfriend so I'm not just bored in the hotel. But hope everybody's having a great day. This is just be an intro or the first part of the video and then I'll show you guys if we buy the deal and even if not if he lets me film what's there I'll try to get you guys some imagery and you guys can see the beautiful scenery outside there are gigantic windmills like wind turbines they're huge they are like right outside the windows I'm driving through I think I'm driving on route 65 south so it's pretty awesome um, it does not feel like a five hour drive. I'm about an hour out, I guess. So, hopefully everybody will watch the rest of the video. Um, I'm going to try to do my first editing job or have somebody help me edit the video to just give you guys a little intro of this part and then sh uh, jump right into showing you guys the collection if I can. Hey everybody, it's Brian Davis, Mr. Buys a Lot. Uh, we are in Indianapolis area of Indiana. Uh, we just closed the deal, as you can see. We are counting out $30,000 in cash uh, for the comic book collection Sixes and everything. And and there are movie posters, vintage comics. You know, most of it is, uh, there's a bunch of Western, a bunch of funnies, some jungle comics, a little bit of action and adventure. A uh, guy used to be a dealer. There are boxes and boxes of miscellaneous ephemera and other paper goods that are going to be coming to our Facebook auctions. Um, the way we're doing it is my partner and I, we're going to split it. He's going to get all the comic books out of the load, which is, you know, the the majority of the value is in the comics, but it works out good because I don't have the time or, you know, anything else right now to deal with the comics also. 
but we are, you know, vastly getting into our movie poster collection and our lobby card collection, so the rest of the stuff will be good for that. All the boxes are full. These are big six-sheet movie posters. Um, there are a ton of, let's see if we can turn on a light. Here you go. You know, these are the movie posters. So some neat stuff. Uh, they actually bagged them, <laughs> bagged them and boarded them, and uh, put them on foam core board. And he he used uh, looks like electrical tape for a border. So obviously, whenever I go to sell these, we'll have to take all of that apart because of shipping be impossible. And up there's more posters. This is all ephemera. Uh, there's these are all pinups and girly magazines and vintage stuff. And then these are all uh, one sheet movie posters. So there's a lot. But as you guys can see, we are. Sorry about the background noise. But it's, you know, it's a lot of stuff. I am going to have to fly back um, to Indianapolis here and then come over here and pick up all of this merchandise in a truck. Um, so sometime next week, it looks like I'm flying back to Indianapolis and going to come and pick this up. I'm just going to get the lock and switch over everything in this way this will all be at my warehouse sometime next week but just wanted to give you guys an idea you know i know those numbers are very intimidating for for the, those of you who are new in the business um but i do want to let everybody know that you know when there's a deal there's a deal um if you do the business for a long period of time you can find the money. You can find the finances. You know, you can see here, these are Golden Age comics. And then there's some Silver Age. But it's mostly Golden Age. There is a little bit of Silver Age in here. Yeah, they're nice books. Yeah. Some interesting stuff. There's Lassie and Timmy. But, you know, it's great stuff. And uh, he was selling for a while, and he had passed, and, you know, we're, we're buying the collection to hopefully move it on to people who can appreciate it, who are around, and it doesn't just stay in a, a storage unit for the rest of, rest of its life or wind up in a dump somewhere. Um, but I do want to let everybody know that we are always buying. You know, we always looking for collections like this. Always looking for for the uh, the Golden Age comics. Uh, we're always looking for Silver Age. Obviously, we just spent thirty thousand in cash. We are always looking to buy. Um, the amount of money does not matter. We have access to funds if the deal's there. Um, you know, this deal we will we will make profit on. Uh, the comics will sell pretty quickly the other stuff will wind up in my warehouses my death piles but this is just to give you guys a good idea of what you can do in the business uh, just put your name out there don't be afraid to uh, to do bigger deals if you can if you have the backing and the knowledge you know you have a gut feeling make the deal uh, don't be afraid, and uh, it's going to be a lot of work. I drove, well, obviously I'm in Milwaukee, so I drove five and a half hours to get here. And I'm going to drive five and a half hours back, and we're going to look at a pulp collection right after here. So um, we are actively looking for big comic book collections. We do pay finders fees. If anybody knows where there's big collections at, uh, original owner or whatever, so... We pay finders fees, and we are always looking for comic books, non-sports cards, sports cards, especially if they're vintage, pre-70s, um, all of that stuff. So we're looking for that stuff actively. If you're one of my normal customers, 
you know, on Facebook or on YouTube. I'll be bringing a bunch of this stuff to you guys. Just flipping these loads. Um, that's what we're trying to turn my business into is just flipping loads to my YouTube customers and my Facebook customers and get away from retail. I want to sell wholesale. So, okay, guys, this is uh, Brian Davis, Mr. Buys a Lot. I'm going to sign off. Hopefully, I can figure out how to edit these videos together, uh, my video this morning. And then... Your minions have arrived! <laughs> guys are going to start moving comic books out. Uh, those are going to get gone, and then i got to fly back for all the miscellaneous posters. Like The posters are awesome. But I have to take... I have to take all these apart <laughs> so that I can sell them and actually ship them. So I have to have to take them all apart. So um, we are going to go and look at the pulp collection and some other ephemera. And if I buy that deal, we will we will show that to you as well. Do all the squares. And I'll hopefully make it all one big video and and kind of edit a little bit of it. So. Again, guys, don't be afraid. If you have a large collection to contact us, comic books, vintage toys, non-sports cards, sports cards, uh, price doesn't matter. You know, if there's money to be made, it just there has to be some room. Uh, we will pay finders fees, right? We'll pay finders fees. Yes. Finders fees. So, this collection was thirty thousand in cash, and. You know, we're starting to do the work. So hopefully you guys will see this, enjoy, get a little inspiration. Uh, just keep building your business big enough, and this should be no problem for you guys. Uh, like I said, if if the deal's right, you can always find the financing. So don't be afraid of bigger deals. That's yep. yep. See, my some of my guys are crazy. They drove out here. While we're uh, while I was in Milwaukee, I told them to drive out here, in, hope, in the hopes that we could do the deal and bring cash. So that's what they did. So this is Mr. Buys a Lot with another thing of buying a lot, which is why we have that name because we buy a lot. But if you guys have collections of comics, know somebody who does, contact us. Sports cards, non-sports cards, and toys. Contact us. Old ephemera, warehouses, whatever. Hopefully I'll see you guys later. Mr. Bislet, signing off.